it's Becky Fox here and today is our final day of our Improve Your Posture series. So over the last couple of days, we have been focusing on stretching a lot of those muscles. We focus on strengthening the upper back and shoulders and neck area. And now we're going to focus on strengthening through the lower body, through those hips and those glutes, which are those muscles that get super weak from sitting all day. So let's go ahead and dive right into this. So first things first, for today's exercises, you're gonna want a mini band. So grab a mini band. We're gonna be using this for most of the exercises that we're doing today. So for this first exercise, we're gonna start right down on the ground with that mini band. So we're gonna be doing a glute bridge here. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna slide it right up above those knees, okay? So you can actually do this without a band as well, but we, otherwise we wanna take that band right above the knee. So we're gonna take ourselves down onto the floor. We're gonna lay it all the way down. So from there, you wanna take your feet about shoulder width apart and, and maybe about a foot from your, your bottom, not too far. All right, we're gonna relax those shoulders, the head down, and we're gonna push out on this band just a little bit. And from there, I want you to squeeze all the way up into that glute bridge. So I'm trying to get those hips all the way up as high as I can, really squeezing through that backside and just lightly tapping as I come down. Now our glutes are one of those muscles that get really weak. We're sitting on it all day long. It doesn't know how to turn on because we're not using it. So this exercise is really gonna help to strength and tone that backside. All right, let's go two more. You got it, and one last one. Right there. And bring it down. Nice, now from there, we're gonna do a hip exercise. Now, not only are our hips weak, but they're, they're tight and they're weak. So that's what I'm trying to say. So they're both tight and they're weak, you guys. So we gotta not only stretch them out, but we gotta strengthen them as well. And this exercise and the next one is gonna be really great for that. So we're actually gonna lay all the way down. So you're gonna take the band, put it right around your feet here. Keep a little tension on that. So don't bring your feet all the way together. Keep a little space there. I'm gonna have you come down, take your hands, put them right under your hips, okay? Now, before we even start with this, I want you to tighten up your belly, keep that back pressed down and engaged. And from there, I want you to keep your foot flexed, drive your knee into your chest, straighten it out, other side. So we're gonna keep alternating. You're trying to bring your knee up as high as you can, but don't forget about your core. I want you to tighten that core, think about pressing into those hands, and then drive this knee up with that foot flexed as high as it'll go. Bring it in, drive it in. Yeah, you're gonna start to feel that in those hips. Work in those hips. You got it, good job. Let's go six. Nice, we're gonna do five more. You got it, keep going. Do that ab check and it starts to get lax and it doesn't wanna work as hard. So you gotta keep focusing on it and really pulling in as tight as you can. Let's go one more on each side. Last one here. Awesome, should be really feeling that one. So from there, we're gonna go ahead and sit up. You can actually move that band to the side. We'll be using it here in a minute, but for this one, we don't need it. So what I want you to do is sit up. I want you to straighten your legs and kind of use your hands lightly behind you. You don't have to like lean on them too much, but just to help prop yourself up a little bit. So from there, we're gonna take our knee into our chest and tuck it in. Keep that foot flexed. Okay, now I want you to make a big circle with your heel. So pretend there was a pencil on your heel and you're trying to draw a big circle. Okay, and that heel is gonna come over the knee. Okay, it's gonna come out wider than the hip. And you're really trying to move in through that hip and just make a nice big circle here. Oh yeah, that one, <laughs> that one burns. One more in that direction and then we're gonna switch other way. So this is definitely one of those ones that doesn't look so bad, but oh man, you're really gonna feel this. So we're strengthening those hip muscles, getting some movement in there as well. Let's go two and one last one. Awesome job. All right, straighten that out, relax it out, <laughs> let it take a break. Other one comes in, so sit up nice and tall here. Use those arms just kind of lightly to hold you up. And then let's make a big circle. It doesn't really matter which way you go because you're gonna end up having to do both ways. It might be good as you do this in the future to maybe switch directions that you start with every now and then. Awesome. All right, two more. So we're doing about five one way, five the other, and then switch it here. Big circle with that heel. Good, 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 you got it. We're gonna go three. 
Oh yeah, feel that burn. Two, and one last one. All right, relax that down, and we're gonna go ahead and bring it up to standing with our mini band. All right, for these last two, we're gonna really work those glutes and those hips with the mini band. So we're gonna go ahead and take it right around our ankles. Okay, use the wall if you need to for balance as you're putting it on. So the first thing we're gonna do is some side steps. Again, this is another one of my favorite ex exercises. I have a lot of favorite exercises. This one I really like, because it works the glutes in a different way than the bridges do, and really works our hips. So let's go ahead and just soften our knees just a little bit, and our toes need to be pointed straight forward as we do this. You can put your hands on your hips, whatever feels comfortable for you. We're gonna take a big step out to the side, and then together. Now we're not coming all the way together, I'm keeping some tension on this band. But what I am doing is trying to push through that heel and push out nice and wide, keeping my knees and my toes facing forward. All right, now I have another challenge for you as you do this. Try not to lean so much with your body. We tend to kind of cheat and lean over. Think about keeping your upper body really still, okay? Keeping that core engaged and really just focusing on your legs and your body's gonna just go with you as you go over. All right, we got four. Oh yeah, feel that burn, three, right in there. Two, and one last one. Awesome. Now we're gonna stand up, stretch it out a little bit, <laughs> loosen it up. And we're gonna go to some forward and backward mini steps here with the band so we can get a little more through the front and the back of those legs as well. So I'm gonna turn a little sideways so you can see. So I'm starting with my feet about hip width apart, some tension on that band. I'm gonna take a step and a slight angle out to the side, keeping my toe forward and then come together again. So slight angle, kind of stepping forward, but out a little bit at the same time, right there, and then take it back. Now push through this glute, push through that hamstring, same thing, slight angle back, but my toe stays forward, back to where I started. All right, I'm gonna start over here so you guys can see that as well, but you keep going, angle step together, angle step together, right? You can go as far as you want. If you just wanna walk down the hallway and then go back, <laughs> that works too. There you go. Good, really push through, nice big step. As you can see, I'm kind of stepping out on an angle, but I'm still keeping my toes forward. We're gonna go one more time, forward, good. Whoop. And one more time back. Good, 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 you got it. Last one here, and relax. You can take that band off. You are done for today. Great job, hopefully you're feeling it through those hips and those glutes. Nice work, if you enjoyed this, give me that thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And of course, subscribe to my channel to get more videos just like this. Awesome, thanks for watching. I'll see you later.